Good morning and welcome to Devotions with Dr. Sue as we keep watch at the gate. And for those who may not be familiar, the gate really is, that's where our husbands are. Uh, the Bible says that they stand in the gate, they will be known in the gates. And so what we are doing as wives is that we are keeping watch over them. We're keeping watch over our marriages at that place of entry, at that place of exit. And we're being deliberate and intentional about it. So today we are starting a series that I believe the Lord has laid on my heart. I was asking Holy Spirit, what should I focus on? Because there's so many things we've talked about over the years and it feels as though, you know, is there anything else to share? But as I, I spoke with him and I asked him, he drove me to the Psalms and he said, look and see what the Psalms say about marriage. See if there's anything there. Um, there are some treasures there that you can tap into. And as I looked at Psalm 85, there was one verse I was looking at, but because of context, I started to read from the beginning and, and from there, so many things started to jump out at me. And so I want to, to begin to look at Psalm 85. The first verse, first and second verses for today, it says, Lord, your love has poured out so many amazing blessings on our land. You've restored Jacob's destiny from captivity. You've forgiven many sins and covered every one of them in your love. And as I thought about marriages, I, 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 the Holy Spirit just began to show me how important love is in our relationships. That our love has to be in liquid form. It must be able to pour out. Sometimes our love has become hardened because of things said or comments made and it comes out clunky and it comes out in moments, in situations, you know, um, something wonderful happens and we respond in love. Uh, something, you know, spectacular occurs and there's that jump almost of love. But it, it, it talks about God's love and his love is in us and, and that's the love that we're going to be using to pour into our marriages. But the you, the word used is pour, which means that it is flexible enough. It is, it is in liquid form. It, it has the ability to spread a lot easier because it is poured out. And when it is poured out, it attracts many blessings on our land. When we pour love in our marriages, when we, when we let it flow easily from our lives, then the blessings attracted to our lives are easily done so. It, it, there's a magnetic drive, if you like, that comes from that pouring out of our love. And therefore, the blessings on our land, the Bible talks about the blessings on our land, but the land here for us would represent our relationships and our families. So that love will then attract blessings on our land. And then it continues, it says, you have restored Jacob's destiny from captivity. The destiny of our marriages will be restored. Our marriages are intended to be until death do us part. Our marriages are intended to, to transition time and challenges and disappointments and anger and fear. They are intended to do that. And so when our love is poured out, we are able to capture back the destiny of our relationships. We are able to bring back and free them and allow them to come to their full fruition because the love has been poured out. Let's talk to the Lord about that today. Father, we want to thank you for your love that we are using to pour out in our marriages. We understand that our own love sometimes can become chunky, it can become distorted, it can pick up a scent because of things that has happened, but we access your love right now in our own hearts so that we may be able to pour that on our relationships, pour that out on our husbands, 
pour that out, dear God, on ourselves and those who are around us. Allow it to flow freely so that we may be able to access and to see and to attract all of the blessings of grace, of prosperity, of hope, of peace. Every blessing that you have in store for us, we will be able to access that because we have been pouring. And so God, we thank you for the courage and the strength to pour in spite of what we may be going through. We bless you and we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Ladies, get that level. Stir it up if it has chunks in it. Cause God to teach you how to make it in liquid form again. And keep pouring. Have a great day.